Hey, how's it going Montana? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video analysis. In this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly how much business your website's bringing you versus your top competitor and show you exactly how to dominate local searches in Atlanta when someone's looking for a roofing contractor. All right. Um, so my company is Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency and we specialize in SEO. So that's where we're going to be going over search engine optimization. Why is it important? We're going to be optimizing your site for these searches, okay, on page and off page. So I'm going to be getting into that stuff. Um, so I just want to jump right into the video here. Um, so over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, they're going to use Google. It's the most powerful, popular way to get information to find local businesses, all right. 96% um, of them are going to click from the very first page of Google, all right. So that is very, very important information to understand. So in Atlanta right now, every month, 11,000 to 12,000, you know, 8,000 to 12,000 times per month, someone's looking for your services. All right. So that is a lot of potential customers. Okay. Um, so you have to know how to target it and how to find uh, those clients to click to your site. All right. And that's through SEO and getting ranked at the top. It le it's lead. We're pretty much doing lead generation. We're going to be generating you more leads through our services. All right. Um, so roofing contractors alone, that one keyword gets 110 hits a month. Roofing 260, um, you know, roofing companies 260. So as you can see, we can target all the most prof uh, profitable keywords um, for your business, all right, here. And like I said, 8,000 to 12,000 times a month. That's a, that's a ton, a ton of leads. So to find your business, you know, essentially people would be just searching these keywords, Um so Atlanta roofing is actually the most profitable search that you want to be in. Your number one competitor is Atlanta roofing All right. It's these guys right here. So, um, you know, I found your, your business in a couple of the searches, but in the most profitable ones, I couldn't find you. So, um, I want to show you this window that I'm in right now. It, this is very important. So if you're looking at, if you're doing Google searches from your computer or phone, um, Google is going to show you um, the 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 websites you've searched the most. All right, so if it's your business and you've searched it a lot, it's going to want to show you at the that it's ranked, you know, number one or number two or at the very top page. So when you do when when you want to know your real rank, um, I'm going to show you something. You have to go to Google Chrome and see these three little bars. Hit that and go to New Incognito Window. So it's going to clear your catch. It's going to be a fresh search. Um, so that's the window that I'm in with this little guy right now. Okay, so that's what I'm doing these searches. So, um, so for Atlanta Roofing, your number one competitor, this is where pulling. I'm gonna show you how much business he's getting right now. Um, couldn't find you in this search at all. Uh, roofing Atlanta, um, another hot keyword. So I did find you here. So you're ranked um, number one here in the maps. Okay, um, and then you're not on the organics. Roofing in Atlanta, no, nothing in the maps. Um, we did get you on the first page right here. Okay, so you're ranked number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, roofing contractors, Atlanta, uh, found you on page two for organics. All right, so let me show you this chart real quick. Remember, I said 96% click from the first page. Well, 70% click from the top three, pretty much. So number one gets 35 hits, number two, 80, 18, and then number three is 11. All right, so as you can see, as you go down, you're ranked number seven, right, for one of the searches, so you're controlling about 4% of the, all the clicks, um, and then 10 is the last spot, and then 11 starts page two. So as you can see, if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. All right, so you're on page two for this major search. Um, you know, you're on uh, page one for this search, all right. Um, for this one, Roof in Atlanta, you're number one, so that's really good. The most profitable one of all is this one, and you couldn't find you at all. So let me show you how much business you're getting versus your competitor. So right now, let me go back. So right now you're getting 54 hits per month. Okay, it looks like you had a nice little spike earlier in the year. So it went 56, 54. Um, and this is the actual SEO searches from people looking for roofing companies in the area, right? So you're at 54, not too bad. Um, but your top competitor, look at this guy. This guy's getting 1.6. So um, that's literally, you know, what's that, 15xing your business? That's a lot, right? 
Um, so they're they're getting a lot of hits. So they went from four, five, one thousand to sixteen hundred. So um, they're whoever's doing their SEO kind of knows what they're doing. But I found a lot of holes in it. So you know, I consider Atlanta is actually very low hanging fruit. So it's going to be fairly easy uh, to get the site ranked um, after a little time. It's going to get up there. So that's the potential your market you're talking about here. All right. So your competitors are doing it. So you're getting 54 right now, but look at the potential business that's out there. All right. Um, so we got to get you up in the organics and get you better in the local listing. So how do we do it? Let me show you the errors with your site, and we'll and we'll talk about it. So Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors. Um, I'm only going to talk to you about four of the most important ones. All right. The first thing is mobility. The site has to be mobile friendly. Um, you're on a Weebly platform, so I know those sites are mobile friendly for sure. So I ran it through 80% of people are going to look through from their iPhone or Android to find your service. So um, I ran it through Google mobile friendly test. It's mobile friendly. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. It is very important, but we'll move on. Second thing, uh, keyword research and authoritative content. So I talked about keyword research. If you're, if you're going to rank in these keywords, you have to mention them multiple times on the homepage in Atlanta. You have to say in Atlanta, um, Atlanta, uh, you know, Georgia, you have to mention um, many of the keywords, all of them on the home page, and you want to have authoritative content, meaning a thousand to two thousand words of good chunks of information. So, right now, you know, you have some information spaced out. It looks like maybe it's 500 words, um, you know, on the page. We want to build more authoritative content and mention your services, you know, in abundance on, on the home page. All right, um, so let me show you what I mean by authoritative content. I went to Google, typed in elephant. Wikipedia is notorious for these searches because of their authoritative content. So look at this page, you know, thousands and thousands of words on evolution, where they eat, where they, what they sleep, where they sleep, you know, everything about elephants. So, you know, a good, nice chunk of information like this, probably about like here, you know, all, uh, you know 1,000, 2,000 words, you know, maybe a little bit more. Um, that's what Google wants to see sentences with period space and then start a new sentence with keyword ri keyword rich information okay so all roofing contractor roofing you know roofing companies you know local roofers all of those keywords that you're going to rank for and to pull that potential you know 8,000 to 12,000 business um, per month you know your clients doing 1.6 that's phenomenal compared to where you're at at 54 so that's kind of like all the on-page optimization stuff um, that, that I'm talking about. That's all on-page stuff. Um, and also your uh, page description, page title is very important. And then the keywords like roofing, you would definitely want to have bolded out at the very top, and you don't have that. All right. So that's some of the on-page optimization stuff. So next, I'm going to talk to you about local citations. So these are very important, um, these citations that I'm about to talk to you about. This is what's going to get you ranked number one in all of the maps okay not just this one keyword so you're at 54 clicks meaning this search doesn't get hit as much um, than these searches okay we want to get you at the top of all these other uh, searches for Atlanta okay so let me show you your biggest area so since you are number one here this is what the problem is um, so you have a 27 percent error rate right with your citations. Some examples are, you know, Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages. When you do them, the business name, address, and phone number have to be identical. If not, Google's going to slap you down. So what's happening right now is you have a business verified in Google, but you don't have an address. So according to Google, you pretty much don't have an address or business information for all these other citations to kind of follow up on. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in your citation here, Look, you don't have an address. So if I click this, there's no there's no address at all, just Atlanta, Georgia. So you have to have your address posted or or verified. Okay? So whatever whatever address that is, we have to go back and add the address so that Google recognizes it. Even if the address if it's not a um, business location, um, you know, we can we can say that the uh, the business is um, uh, you know you serve at your client's location. So that's pretty much what's happened. There's something about the verification with Google right now 
um, and it's not uh, picking up the address or the listing's not picking up right here because uh, you have all these citations. So right now that it's named New Image Roofing Atlanta as well. So if I go in here, New Image Roofing, New Ro Image Roofing Atlanta, okay. So you have that, you have the phone number 0041, okay, 0041, so it's really good. So it's something with that listing. So we have to get that listing fixed um, because that's why you're not ranking in all these major keywords, right? I showed you all these keywords, your competitor is getting thousands of searches a month and they're at the top of the maps, but you are here, you are recognized for this one keyword, meaning that in the Google My Business page, you know, in the introduction, you filled out some really good keyword research. You know, you have your business hours, you have all the information set up, and you have great reviews for the company, which all plays a key role. But it's affecting um, all the other major keywords you can be pulling uh, business in. So this is something we have to get fixed. 27% um, error rate, and then you're missing listings. There are discrepancies in the phone number. You know, missing listings, phone number again here. So just, that's pretty much it. All has to be identical. All right. Um, and this is the top 50 in the country. We definitely want to get these filled out in 100%. All right, so that's that. So how do we get you ranked number one in organics? Okay, so this is your organics right here. All right, how do you get number one there? This is the cream of the crop. Everything else kind of plays role into it, but this is the cream and cream of the crop right here, or the meat and potatoes, you want to call it, of search engine optim optimization. So SEO really is what you say about your business online, what everybody else says about your business online. So it's like running for president. It's a popularity contest. The more votes you have, the more chances you're going to win, right? So these are your votes. So right now it's saying that you have eight websites mentioning you um, on the Internet right now. So Google wants to know how many of these you have mentioning you and what's the trust flow. Are they popular or not? All right. So for for your site you have eight and a trust flow of ten so let me show you this so at a ten you're almost you're not at medium quality yet so you're kind of like in the middle all right so let me show you your top competitor now this is interesting you have eight right so these guys they have forty okay backlinks are blogs and social media so those two play a poor role but this is the most important thing um, forty referring domains and their trust flow is five so let me show you this at a five they are just above low quality, okay? So you guys are kind of like in the same bracket. You guys, you're, you, neither of you are medium and, and both of you meet low. So you're pretty much low quality. Um, but they have more def deferring, referring domains. So what is interesting is this number becomes more irrelevant the more popular they are. So the stronger it is, um, the more this number doesn't matter. So if you put, if we push 10 or 12 and they're all 20 plus, then you're going to rank really quick. All right. So what's great about our company is we have built and published um, some of the most powerful websites online, all 25, 20, 25, and even 30 plus on the trust flow. All right. So let me do some case study action for you and show you some of our clients. So um, in San Diego, in a 3.5 million uh, you know, population, we ranked a used car dealer number one on Google it's for San Diego auto dealers. Huge keyword search, right? Um, ranked number one right here, San Diego Auto Connection, and then number three in the maps. All right, so let me show you how powerful this site is real quick. So I'm just going to copy paste it straight into my tool here and show you exactly what we're talking about. So look at this site. 73 links and the trust flow is 22. So as you can see, 22 is above high quality. So that's the type of power you can expect. And, and they're number one, all right, in a 3.5 million population. Uh, let me show you another client. Uh, we have a client that does uh, party bus limousines in San Diego. So we built this lead generation site. So we also do lead generation sites. We can build out custom sites and rank them specifically in any city. Um, and just pulled all the leads from that site back to the one business owner. Um, so this is dramatically going to boost sales and, and revenue over, over time as well. So we ranked this site in northern San Diego. Uh, number one for Escondido Party Bus, a huge search. Uh, they get hundreds of leads per month. Um, number one here, organics. Number one in the map. So let me just copy and paste the same thing I did with the other one and show you the power of this site. 
so same thing look 19 so not that many right and a trust flow of 21 and it's and it's number one all right so above high quality I'll even show you our agency site here let me copy and paste and you can see this site's even more powerful um, so look at this 12 links and the trust flow is 31 super high and we do a lot of social media and blogs as well so that is actually off the charts so that's the kind of power you can expect that we can bring to your business uh, to rank uh, number one in Atlanta for roofing um, for many of the keywords not just one because as you can see you have a, a nice spot but it's only producing you a 54 which is generating some business that's great um, but obviously from showing you I mean the the potential looking at your competitor is there and it's low-hanging fruit because they have they have holes in their SEO and they're in their website online so we're, we can target that we're I pretty much reverse engineered and show you exactly what we're gonna do uh, to target them to target their weak points and make sure that we dominate all right so that pretty much concludes my analysis I really appreciate the time you took this you have my name my information my email my number please reach out to me me and my team would love to partner with you um, and bring you more leads online whether it be through SEO with your website or uh, generating leads through our generated lead, uh, roofing lead generation program that we can launch in the surrounds, surrounding cities of Atlanta and just pull the uh, leads back to you. So whatever you'd like to do, we'd love to partner with you. Bring us on board. Um, please reach out. And we'll take the next step to growing your business online. Thanks and have a great day.